so you're burnt out. Day recently, I suffered a pretty bad case of burnout. So I would say I probably got burned out maybe six months ago. I always thought I would never ever burn out, but I do think burnout is like a real thing now more than I did before. Burnout is something that hit me hard back in October last year. Sometimes it's tough to stay motivated and creative and that's what I want to talk about in this video, creative burnout. After a while, you are going to hit that wall. You are going to find burnout. There are no ideas, no execution plans, no excitement in you. It sucks. Getting bored or tired of making the same content over and over and over again. What I can say for certain is that I felt like I was at the point where I was just making content because I felt like I had to, not necessarily because I wanted to. Watch any video on YouTube about this subject and the advice is pretty unanimous. Take breaks. Take a break. Take a break. And focus on something else. But, okay, you've done that. Now what? Here's some tips to get back into creating again. Tip number one. Watch creators that inspire you. Pretty self-explanatory, but this can trigger an idea within you that you may not have thought of otherwise. Problem with this is that sometimes you can find yourself going deep down a rabbit hole of watching amazing videos that can actually demotivate you then re-inspire. As you feel you cannot create as good of videos as your favorite, this is where the next tip always helps me. Rather than sitting at home waiting for inspiration to strike, and for the perfect idea for a video to come along. Take action by going outside with no plan and just your camera and start shooting. Even if it's a place that you've shot before, look for a different way to shoot the same area. If you're coming from a place of burnout, this is the best way to get back into being creative as you get yourself back out shooting without any pressure or big expectancy. Tip number three, listen to music. Listen to music has the power of envisioning possible future creations before we've even created them. Sometimes I'll mix this with the previous tip and listen to music while I was outside with my camera. I was actually inspired to make these two past videos based purely off the music that I had found on Artlist and Epidemic Sound. Tip number four, learn a new way of shooting or learn to use a new piece of gear. This can reignite our creativity by capturing what we have around us in a different way. Recently, I've been learning the world of 360 cameras and capturing the world around me in 360. And before that, I was learning FPV drones, which was a story in itself. And that leads me on to the next tip. Tell stories. I used to overcomplicate this a lot. I thought for a story to be captivating, it had to be an epic tale of how I fought against the elements to climb the highest mountain. But in fact, it can be as simple as things that go in our day-to-day -day lives. Take this video, for example. A simple story of how I was struggling for creative inspiration. Not that captivating, but definitely relatable for a lot of people in their day-to-day -day lives than the story of me climbing a huge mountain. I hope this helped, guys. Let me know down there in the comments if it did. See ya!